In South Florida, we have everything from topless beaches to over-the-top nightclubs, from loud events to nice, quiet games of dominoes in the park. A lot to crow about. Oh, yeah, and that, too. In the mornings, they crow. They don't crow early in the morning. They crow all day. <laughs> chickens out in the country are common. But in many neighborhoods, chickens cross the street, strolling from one yard to another. And those neighbors were nice, but they foreclosed. When Doris's Hialeah and neighbors were foreclosed on, they flew the coop. Their roosters and hens did not. They left the chickens. They didn't take them with them. With no one feeding them, the birds started roaming, looking for food. Doris is the nearest neighbor. Chick -a -chick, come on, chicks. And felt bad for them. We give them bread and water, but it's like a child. A child comes to you, they're hungry. You're going to feed them. I mean, you can see that they're starving to death. Fortunately, the fowl go back to their yard to roost at night, but they leave behind a mess everywhere they roam. They are going to the bathroom on my porch, and it's starting to smell, so I've been trying to clean it up. Doris asked a representative from the bank that owns the house to come get their chickens. And he said he would do something about it, but he never did. She called the city of Hialeah and Miami-Dade Animal Control, where Doris was told no one does anything about roaming chickens. You know, I was kind of dumbfounded because, you know, animal control, you, if you call them a dog or animal or something like that, they'll come out and check it. But uh, with chickens, they don't do it, I guess. Come on, let's get some food. Doris could probably find someone in Hialeah to grab the birds to eat them. She doesn't want that to happen. They're not bad animals, they're chickens. Somebody needs to take them and put them where they should be, on a farm or something. No one will take them, Doris doesn't want them, and doesn't want to see what she fears will happen to them. They are going to die if they don't get some food. And, you know, you don't want uh, anything to starve to death. And that's what's going to happen. Well, Howard, you have chickens roaming in your neighborhood. What can you do? Most cities do not allow livestock like chickens, and if the city doesn't have a way to remove them, the city can require the homeowner, or in this case, the bank, to take care of it. And if they don't, the city can fine the owner for code violations. We contacted the city of Hialeah. A spokesperson told us it's illegal to have livestock like chickens in the city, but they do not have a procedure to remove the animals. Miami-Dade Animal Control only handles cats and dogs, not chickens. Both Hialeah and Animal Control told us they get a lot of calls about chickens. We then spoke to the management company that handles the property for the bank. They told us they were not aware of the chickens on their property. A few days later, the birds were gone. You did your job completely. I can't thank you enough. But a surprise. When they came to catch the chickens, they couldn't find one hen. Turns out she was hidden away, sitting on her eggs. Today I woke up and I saw the little hen out there and she had six little babies and they are so cute and I said but I don't know what we're gonna do with her but they're beautiful they are cute and Doris says she called the people who caught the other chickens but they said they were not coming back to get the hen and her chicks Doris said if you want them fine with her give us a call we'll put you in touch with her walking on eggshells trying to crack open a solution to your problem think it's time to squawk about it let us sit on it. We're nothing to crow about, but we can hatch a solution once in a while. Will this help me, Howard? I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News.